Now, the four former IBC commissioners told the National Dialogue Committee on Thursday that they were forced to resign from their positions. The committee was told that the commissioners, who came to be known as the Cherera Four, did not quit their jobs out of their own will after the 2022 elections. In a presentation to the committee, former Vice Chair Juliana Cherera, former commissioners Francis Wanderi, Justice Nyagaya, and Commissioner Irene Masit said they were forced to quit after they questioned the process that led to the declaration of presidential results. Wanderi shared this and I quote, it was the commission to tally and the chair to declare the results. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to do that. End of quote. Wanderi was accompanied by Nyagaya when making the presentation. Cherera and Masit joined the meeting virtually since they are in the UK. Wanderi added all commissioners were required to sign from the T4 C, which had a summary of presidential result from all constituencies. He said this in a quote, that form was never availed to us. What we got was a form containing a summary of the result from all counties. It was unfair for us to be forced out. We hope the matter will be looked into. End of quote. The four commissioners rejected the presidential results announced by IBC chairman of Chebukati on August 15, 2022, claiming the final telling of the results was marred with the discrepancies and irregularities. They also filed affidavits supporting Azimio's unsuccessful petition challenging President William Ruto's win at the Supreme Court. This is some Cuba news.